Just because of my name. This is my favorite character. Maxure holds the title of being the most complicated character in the game currently. Her kit brings a mixture of damage and utility. Maxture is a character that completely changes the rules of the game and will require you to pivot your playstyle. This may be my most in-depth character guide on the channel, so grab a drink and relax, because it's gonna be a long one. A value for cost of human life? Underworld Program is Maxer's standard skill. When using this skill, the target will take frost damage and have their avatar ripped out of them. This avatar will share the same defense and health as the host, and it can only be damaged by Maxer. Damage taken by the avatar will be transferred to the host as frost damage. Let's list some examples of how this can be used to our advantage. Staying behind cover to damage enemies, its long range allows you to shoot at optimal submachine gun distance. It can ignore ricochet and shields. And its 100% submachine gun accuracy will provide the fastest energy to your ultimates. The utility Underworld Program provides is unlike any other skill in the game and can encourage safe energy charge team compositions. All of Maxir's manifestations enhance her avatar orbs further, such as increasing their on-screen duration, defeating targets immediately at low health, and decreasing the avatar's defense the more health it's missing. Her neuron skills will deal even more damage when the orb is defeated or expired, and will reset the skill cooldown when defeating an enemy. This lets you spam her ability. Time to see what the next life looks like. Maxer support skill Mind Blast will rip out blue avatar orbs from targets. These orbs cannot be hit by shots, but can be hit by skills. They also will have 50% of the host's max HP. When upgraded by Neuron skills, Mind Blast produce more orbs against multiple targets, and will automatically proc whenever a character inflicts a control effect. This skill is best used with other characters that can deal AoE damage. This allows the host to be damaged through two separate instances of damage at once. Mind Blast is very effective against multiple targets and can augment any crowd control or AoE ability. Her final manifestation, Joint Sense, will detonate a chain reaction explosion between all orbs when one is defeated. How about I just make a robot to tidy up after me? Maxter's ultimate, Moment of Judgment, has two versions depending on conditions. It's capable of either executing a target immediately or providing a fat damage buff. During this ultimate, if the target has less HP than Maxter, they will be executed immediately. This is done by taking damage equal to 150% of Maxer's HP. Basically, the more HP Maxer has, the wider her execution window. Her first neuron skill will refund 90% of your ultimate's energy if you successfully execute a target. This is very abusable against a wave of mobs with lower HP. If the execution is not successful, then Maxer will instead be granted a damage buff for 10 seconds. When Maxer hits a target while under this buff, they will take additional frost damage based off her max health. This extra damage can only be applied every 0.5 seconds, which means it can only hit at most 20 times. Sadly, Maxer is not able to hit 20 times in 10 seconds due to reloading. 
Upon activating her second Neuron skill, other characters will now be granted this buff, but only on their skills. However, there currently isn't a single skill in the game that can hit 20 times in 10 seconds, except for Akashi's daggers. This buff has future potential, but you're better off using ultimates of other characters right now. For her weapons and logistics, it really depends on how you want to play her. If you want to run her as a DPS, stack frost percent, and other damage increasing logistics. If you want to run her as an execution bot, then stack HP. You can even run her as a support with a weapon for Gatebird. It all really depends on what you're looking for. Maxer is an odd ball that can flow into any role. Maxer fits well on team comps that can spam AoE damage. Akasha Kayuga is probably one of her best partners. Other good choices are Life Wild Hunt and Shirno, as they also bring multiple control effects. Shirno would also benefit from Maxer's fast ultimate charge, so she can summon Bellowbird. If you're curious about Shirno, we have a video on her here. And if you're looking for something else or have questions, be free to leave a comment or subscribe. And as always, take care.